Hi, and thank you for choosing Foray. Today, we'll show you how to create event memory using your HVS100 or HVS110. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to fly two picture-in-picture -picture with a push of two buttons. If you need help creating a picture-in-picture, -picture, please see our tutorial on how to create a picture-in-picture. -picture. So let's begin. The feature of an event memory is that it can save your switcher's current state. So here in our scene number one, it will remember the placement of your pips as well as what is on its program out. So let's save our first scene. Press on the event button, then press the store slash enter button and choose a number from zero to nine to save this event in. For this tutorial, we'll save our first scene to number one. When pressing the event button, you may notice that we were on page zero. Your switcher can store up to 100 event memories with each page holding 10 events. Now, let's set up our second scene. To fly our pips around, we'll begin by flying our key one's pip by double pressing key one to bring up its menu. Next, use your joystick to fly your first pip around to a position you like. If you need a precise position in your key one menu, please go to the POS slash SIZ for your position or size menu to enter numerical values for your X and Y position. You can also resize your first pip if necessary. Now we'll do the same to our second pip. Simply double press on your key two button to bring up its menu. Then use your joystick to fly your second pip to a desired position. If you need a precise position in your key two menu, please go to the POS slash SIZ for position or size menu to enter numerical values for your X and Y position. You can also resize your first pip if necessary. If you want to change your program output, please do so now. However, you can leave it as is if you wish. Here, we'll change our program out by pressing the program number two bus. Now, let's save our second scene by pressing the event button. Then press store slash enter and any number on your keypad. For this tutorial, we'll choose number two. Next, we'll fly our pips around to create our third scene. The steps are the same as before. Let's fly our key one's pip by double pressing key one to bring up its menu. Next, use your joystick to fly your first pip around to a position you like. If you need a precise position in your key one menu, please go to the POS slash SIZ for position or size menu to enter numerical values for your X and Y position. You can also resize your first pip if necessary. Now we'll do the same to our second keyer. Simply double press on your key two button to bring up its menu. Then use your joystick to fly your second pip to a desired position. If you need a precise position in your key two menu, please go to the POS slash SIZ for position or size menu to enter numerical values for your X and Y position. You can also resize your first pip if necessary. If you want to change your program output, please do so now. However, you can leave it as is if you wish. Here, we'll change our program out by pressing the program number one bus. Now, let's save our third scene by pressing the event button. Then press store slash enter and any number on your keypad. For this tutorial, we'll choose number three. Our last step in configuring our event memory is to set its transition rate. If you wish to have it cut for each event, then please skip this step. Press the event button and using your F4 dial knob, turn it to set the transition rate. For this tutorial, we're setting ours to 30 frame. Now to recall our saved events, simply press the number one button and then press the recall button. This is our first scene. Now to transition to our second scene, we press the number two button and then press the recall button. To recall our third scene, we simply press the number three button and the recall button. Thank you for watching our tutorial and have a safe and pleasant production.